Hey guys, Deb and I are about to tackle our biggest design and decorating dilemma yet. Well, it looks really pretty, but again, it's really not practical because you nearly hit your head on that and there's a step here that's too low, like the range hood. Yeah, the range. I think there was a bit of a theme here. I think there's going to be a lot more um, we can do here to make this a much more livable space for Imagine us. Imagine a really, really high quality slip and slide. We're not doing a slip and slide. It Check this, sunny. um, this fence. Ooh. Oh my goodness. But that that's going, because the whole house is coming this way. You so, yeah, well, gone. Talk about a theme. What is this, a shovel for ants? <laughs> perfect suggestion would be to bring everything this way. They could have a new ensuite robe and master. Mm. This is the money shot, really. This is what you're working with. It's stunning. And um, the land these guys own right back to the creek there. Right so. back to the creek. Yeah, imagine a beautiful big retaining wall. And I love the, uh, the flying fox there. I think that's for you, Andy. <sighs> I'm having a go, don't you worry about that. Mate, this could be a big sort of family party area. Mm, it's really beautiful, isn't it? You can chuck it? a dance floor over here. Look at this. <laughs> uh, you're not getting a dance floor, Andy. OK. This is not good for my hands. Do you want to push? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> <laughs> oh, I got... was way too into that. Yeah, you've made a mess of yourself. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. It was worth it. This is nice. This area is really nice. That is so serene. So we're here having a look at this new deco wood. It's aluminium decking. It's brilliant because it's made for this harsh Australian climate and like everyone, Michelle doesn't want a lot of upkeep. And guess what? The colour is amazing. We needed a solution that would not only provide mm. privacy, but that would also make a statement. And modular walls does just that. Yes, not only does it seamlessly blend in with the house's style, it also adds character to the surrounding landscape. A great first impression. located the front door towards the right and then installed a double arched entrance doorway. The previously haunted staircase underwent a complete transformation and now it serves as a very functional study space. We repurposed the former living area into a fifth bedroom. The upstairs kitchen has been renovated into a second living space and we revitalised the old master bedroom and expanded with a mezzanine extension. On the ground floor, the newly constructed extension features a cosy sitting room on the left, accompanied by a brand spanking new kitchen. The existing bedroom has now been transformed into a butler's pantry, while the haunted staircase now serves as a lovely laundry area. Lastly, what was the old lounge room has now been converted into a luxurious master wing of the house, complete with a day spa style ensuite. With such a large extension, it reduced the size of the backyard mm. and we were left with really steep slopes. So we created a back deck and extended that outdoor living space. We use deco wood, which is aluminium. It's mm. extremely low maintenance, perfect for the Queensland climate. Mm. Previously, the pool was very disconnected from the rest of the house yep. and it was a mishmash of terracotta and grey tiles. Now everything works together and it flows. That's right, you can get from the pool to the living room to the back deck, it has a perfect flow. Perfect for entertaining.
house too wrapped and wasn't it rewarding Andy? Yes, especially the flying fox. This mismatched Gold Coast home was definitely our most unique yet and I'm really proud to say that we certainly did bring it into this century but all good things must come to an end. Yeah, but don't worry, we'll be back for more soon. Thank you.